Hey Odo enthusiasts, welcome to Side Roses. In today's video, we're going to discuss about the part 2 of symbol fields. And the first field is date and time. The date and time field is basically used for setting the date on the calendar and time on the clock. And if user's time is not set over there, the user's current time will be automatically taken under this field. And we have two more fields that comes under the date and time that is the remaining field and the date range. The remaining field is basically used for getting or setting the number of days that left from the current date and this field will be always set as read only and the other field is the date range so the specialty of date range is that if you want to set the start date and end date in a single line you can use the date range and if you want to add the date range field we have to basically use two fields that is one for setting the uh, the start date and end date and the other is uh, for setting the date and time with the widget as date range checkbox and this field will basically have the field type as boolean and it will have two values either true or false and it will be indicated by um, checking or unchecking and you can also convert a checkbox into a button or a toggle by setting the widget. Action field is basically used for selecting a single value from a group of predefined values and this will be having the type as selection itself. You can also convert a selection field into radio, status bar, badge, badges and priority. The priority field will be having the type as selection and this field is basically used for setting the star rating systems to know the importance or satisfaction level from the user side. The file field is basically used for uploading any type of file. It can be a signature or image or any other files. Okay. And if you want to upload a signature as a file, you have to use the widget as sign and this file will have the type as binary the image field will have the type as binary and it is basically used for uploading the image and viewing it on the form view so we have covered all the symbol fields through part one and part two so if you find this video informative please do like share and subscribe our channel and if you want auto customization auto implementation and auto tutorial videos feel free to contact the process so that's all for today thank you for watching the video and we'll see you in next one